methodological naturalism says is what is the boundary of science, right? What is the boundary of science? Can science look into things like God, angels, heaven, hellfire? No, they are metaphysical entities, right? So mm -hmm. science is only in the business of making claims about the natural world. I can study plants. I can study animals. I can study disease. I can study blood, for example. Those are things that are within my rubric. But then there are things that are not within that rubric. So if you believe science can answer all the questions, then you're going to think immediately science equals philosophical naturalism. It's a materialistic mm -hmm. rule, which is false. So right. methodology is a safe space where you can understand that science is only in the business of explaining the natural world. Does it explain your worldview though? No. So within that, there were two types. One was intrinsic methodological naturalism and there was another one. Yeah. So intrinsic methodological naturalism is saying this is what science cannot do, right? Pragmatically, you keep the boundaries fuzzy. So for example, right now, perhaps we, 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 we don't have any empirical control on things like the jinn, for example, right? Mm. Could we one day mm. somehow bring in into maybe some kind of empirical fold? So, yeah. so you're not making categorical claims about science. You're keeping the categories fuzzy. Hence, you call it pragmatic. It's mm -hmm. well now, but perhaps it might shift in the future. Whereas at first, right. science categorically just does not make supernatural claims. Plus, that's it. Okay. So within these two types of methodological analysis, mm -hmm. which one makes more sense to you? Both. I'm fine with that. Okay. Science is not my worldview. So whether scientists want to say, this is the way of being scientists, okay, well done. Shabash. Oh. There's no difference to me.